So I've been getting a little bit of bad range between my handheld and my hotspot. My hotspot I usually keep in the house and out here in the shack, it's a metal building. So a lot of times if I'm trying to use my handheld out the shack, it's not really getting back inside the house to the hotspot very good back and forth. So I got to thinking, you know, I put that hotspot inside of a radio chassis that I took the circuit board out of and I left the chassis connector on the back for this very reason. I wanted the option to connect the hotspot to the chassis connector so I could hook coax up to it and make an external antenna. So I'm gonna go through a couple of options. One, if I wanna take it mobile or set it in the house where I don't have coax, I can use a rubber duck antenna. So there's one way, but another way is actually hooking it up to an extra antenna outside that I have on the tower. So we'll see how that works out. We're gonna get into it, stay tuned. All right, so we are going to remove the cover off of this. Got to thinking, uh, Don SKT mentioned that it wasn't very smart to put antennas inside of a metal enclosure. And that's what I've done because the Wi-Fi and the RF antenna to the hotspot that I've put in here is inside a metal casing. So we're gonna start removing that. So here is the Pi Zero board. I put this tape on here to prevent any short circuits of the pins. Of course now it's in my way. So you see here is the current antenna for the board. And then right here you've got your center pin and your outer conductor connectors for like an SMA connection. What we're gonna be doing is removing that antenna and then we're gonna wire this to the chassis connector and we're gonna hook up, excuse the uh, adapters I'll order an appropriate adapter to make it one, but we're just going to use a UHF, VHF, HT antenna and have it connected here. So I've got two of these. One will go in there. Other one will go to a ground. Easy peasy. I got one side done, and it just pops off. that to the chassis there we have it so now we got the connection to the SMA port with these two wires this is running to the chassis this is running to the center pin 
now we will test it I need to find something that's not metal that might can go under here or on top of this And there you go. I've got my screen here. Shows my information, my OLED screen, OLED screen. External antenna. Now I will plug this up and then go inside and get my radio. Man, this is so cool. I love when tinkering in the shack just comes together and stuff doesn't go up in smoke and you can still use it. Always a good feeling. So right here is the finished product for now is my TYT 9800 hotspot. They don't sell them like this because I took all the guts out of it. Could see it in some of my other videos where I had some problems with several of these. This one, I ended up taking the board out and I've now got an external antenna option. Check this baby out right here. You see that antenna, I know it's kind of hard to see. Straight out the factory chassis connector of the radio. That's just really cool even left the fan so I can hook the fan up to uh, a power source if I want to do that, but I don't think it's really necessary right now. Just casually using a hotspot. And there's the hotspot started up as we are connected to XLX 687A, David Capello, and we was playing with on TO's Nugget stream the other night with the uh, ICOM terminal mode got it going and now I've got my DMR linked to it as well so pretty neat but yep this is going to be a good little option just a rubber duck antenna right now off an HT but uh I can plug it into an antenna on the tower it's going to be great I'm going to have fun can't wait to see how far maybe I can hear it maybe a couple miles I don't know but uh now I gotta look for a UHF amplifier so I can really get it out there. I gotta decide if I'm going to keep this out here in the shack or take it back in the house, but I think either way, now I'll be okay with that extra antenna, especially if I hook it up to the antenna outside. So I uh, thank you again for coming by the channel. Appreciate you watching. And if you wanna see more, there's another video recommended there. 73, have fun.